there is a truly international flavour about Ireland's national football code. For many Americans of Irish descent, the football final is the highlight of an air trip home. For the Irish in England, it is just a day's excursion. You say shot on shot shakto shot to pella the common low class game. Oxadare Tophi and Kesht, K Hogi Kekorin Vikir Walya Emlina, Kiri Nugalyam, Talk Kikin the Manor Le Play, it are Bufali Korki of his wall. The minor final which traditionally precedes the senior decider saw the boys from Cork opposed by the youths of Offaly. Cork heavily fancied to complete the minor double, their hurlers having run riot against the leash three Sundays earlier, ran into stiff opposition from the Midlanders. The Offaly boys settled down from the start and surprised even themselves by building up what looks like a comfortable lead of eight points by half time. As events were to prove, however, the lead was anything but comfortable. From the restart, Cork laid siege on the Offaly goal, gradually whittled the lead away, and then went in front. But when it seemed that the favourites would win after all, Offaly found new courage and unexpected strength, and the result was the most exciting climax to any GAA final for years. Offaly's strength lay in Tony McTeague, who scored seven points, and in Oliver Kilmurray, Frankie Green, Willie Bryan and Joe Gunning. But the performances of all on both teams augurs well for their future in senior ranks. <laughs> Arriving for the senior game, Uchtron the Heron, Eamon de Valera, got a specially warm reception on his first public appearance after a recent illness. Then followed the colourful parade of the teams. Galway led by John Dolan, Cyril Dunn, John Keenan, Sean Mead, Matty McDonough and Sean Cleary. And Kerry led by Niall Sheehy, Johnny Collisey, Donny O'Sullivan, Mick Fleming, Mick Morris and Jerry O'Connor. And the big game is on. Galway win the breakaway and Sean Cleary spearheads the first attack of the Connacht champion. This was successfully beaten off by fullback Mick Morris. In Galway's next effort, the ball comes between Sean Cleary and Christy Tyrrell. Christy Tyrrell gains possession and shoots for a goal, which Johnny Collisey capably saves. But Tyrrell had been fouled, and from the free, Cyril Dunn gains first blood for Galway. The Connacht men kept up the pressure and here Cyril Dunn to give Galway a two-point lead. From the kick-out, the ball goes to midfield where Seamus Layden wins the tussle with Mick Garrett and shows him a clean pair of heels kicking towards the Kerry goalmouth. The result, a free to Galway. And Cyril Dunn has his third point of the game. Galway three points, Kerry nil. <laughs> then Matty McDonough's jersey is pulled and the result is Dunn's and Galway's fourth point. <laughs> but it just can't be all one way. Here's Pat Griffin, number 10, to open Kerry's account. Seamus Layden gains possession again, passes the ball to John Keenan, but this time the attack went wide. Again it's Seamus Layden. Again he passes to Keenan. Back to Layden, and now Layden hits the post. Wide again. John Keenan's overhead kick gives Galway their fifth point. And it's still Galway. John Cleary punches the ball in to Cyril Dunn. Here goes Cyril's fifth and Galway's sixth point. Mick O'Connell reduces the leeway just before half time to leave the interval score. Galway seven points, Kerry three points. Kenok Rev Moran Atra Egon Sus. He remained out of Gorbe on Galiev on Irinabar Gudi shot. Kerry started the second half with a wind in their favour and hopes of a kingdom revival were soon set alight. 
From the throw-in, they threw all they knew into the fray. And with Kerry's great tradition for football, that amounted to quite a lot indeed. But if Kerry were determined to come of age in the senior championships by winning their 21st title and so lead their nearest rivals, Dublin, by four championship wins, Galway were no less determined to bring the Sam Maguire Cup across the Shannon for the fifth time. And so their back line of Enda Cullen, Noel Tierney and John Bosco McDermott gave nothing away. Well, not for a while anyway, but in the second minute, Pat Griffin shot a carry point. There's only a goal between the teams now. Everything pointed at this stage to a rousing climax. And the 76,000 people present were anticipating as inevitable a Kerry goal which has so often in the past had turned the tide when other teams would have given up. And watch for this point-blank save by Galway's custodian, Johnny Gerrissey. The resultant 50 brought out the best once again in Galway's great full-back, Noel Tierney. And from his clearance, Mickey Garrett passes on downfield. But the pressure had to tap. Mick O'Connell narrows the gap to a mere two points. Galway accepted the challenge in fine style and were quickly on the rampage at the Kerry Goldman. Here Sean Cleary punches the ball in and Niall Sheehy is called on to clear his line. Then out on the far wing, Mick Fleming beats Mick Reynolds to send Kerry attacking again. But not for long. Cyril Don from a free scores another point for goal. Now the destruction of the Kerry challenge started in earnest. Christy Tyrrell to Matty McDonough. Another point. This time Christy Tyrrell decides to do all the work himself and he puts Galway into a five-point lead. Mick O'Connell restores a little hope to Kingdom followers with this point. But that one was quickly negatized by a like score from Cyril Duff. And the Galway punching machine goes into action again. Christy Tyrrell to Sean Cleary, another point for Galway. And the siege continues without a break. In this attack, Cyril Dunn is fouled, and he takes the free himself to give Galway yet another point. Down the right wing again, Sean Cleary to Seamus Layden, another point for the Connacht champions. <laughs> Kerry, of course, never gave up, and Mick O'Connell scored his seventh point of the day. But it was not enough, and the final score did not flatter the new All-Ireland champions. As good a team as ever won the Premier Award of Irish football. To their brilliant forwards, all of whom scored. To their great midfielders, Mick Garrett and Mick Fleming, who established mastery in that sector. And to all their sterling backs, equal credit must go for a well-deserved victory. Agus Shin Moraerig le muinte na galleba an creve a vleflo don cuigo oi. Is an oir nach piog da einchunte, corn vigir a gano hu. Ac a cane gano hu in aig chiri. An cunte a smole ra e gursi pelisatir. Ni falaad fwiren den keel sto. Quirin Sorwa is sharp Quirin Nagalia. Is through a scumble of wine, a vet on, a got kick Catherine Nagalibok on La Shaw. Talk of Ron Gartin, a captain of the foreign Sean O'Donnellon, a Moss Ahead, Mihal O'Donnellon, a Harla, a Gazan Clicker Air Show. But Crown Tucker done a clicker near her father Haley. Er yes, they go ever on.